Rooney. Um, technical issues aside, uh, did you guys like it? Checking that off my list first. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I wanted to make a film. Um, I wanted to make a film with good, strong female characters that, um, and I kind of wanted to say a little bit about like, uh, kind of what Hollywood pins them to be like. You know, they can be in a crime flick, but they have to dress up as guys in order to do it. And then like, um, even cops at the end, when they're like, oh, they're just girls, you know, the slate's clean. So I was trying to say a little bit of something like that. But uh, yeah, um, this is, also the first thing I've, I've ever written and directed, so... Uh, <laughs> and I had a lot, of, a lot of help. Uh, yeah, a lot of my friends uh, worked on this. Um, uh, Noelle, one of the stars I work with at Black Horse Cafe. Oh. Uh, <laughs> which, which was a major help, uh, as you guys all notice. Anybody who drinks locally. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys have any questions or anything you want to say? Good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I saw that you uh, crowd, you crowdsourced that crowdsourced this off like Indiegogo. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how, you about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we were kind of deciding between Indiegogo and Kickstarter. In Kickstarter, uh, if you don't make your amount, you don't get anything. So that was that was a major thing. Uh, we, of the 6,000 we were trying to raise, we raised about three. Um, our executive producers who are here, Tom and Tanya Knowles. Uh, and we kind of operated outside, because I know everybody, uh, we operated outside sort of Indiegogo. They're like, well, I want to give you $1,000, but I don't want to have like a percentage taken out. So we kind of skated around that a little bit, uh, as a few uh, else, else here have done. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, white shirt. Uh, how long did it take you to make it? Uh, we shot for, I think, about 10 days. Uh, the last weekend of shooting was really crazy. We, we really tried to cram in a lot. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> of the Saturday morning, where, uh, no, no, no. I, uh, I think we shot Friday night up until 5 a.m., and then went to sleep for a couple hours Saturday morning. Uh, woke up again at like 7 a.m., shot stuff during the day, um, took like a small break in the um, afternoon, evening, shot again that night till 5 a.m., and then Sunday night we had another 5 a.m. shoot. Um, most of it takes place at night, so we, and uh, we shot during May, which you guys all know has the longest nighttime hours, uh, which was pretty smart <laughs> on my part. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh -huh. I didn't recognize all of them. I'd be interested in knowing where the various locations were in the big city. Well, one of the locations is secret, and I can't talk about it. Um, but, no, no, no. Uh, he may lose his job. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, the, the garage that we shot at is a, is a friend of mine's garage, uh, Hank's shop. Uh, that's why it's filled with, like, really cool cars and stuff like that. Amazing mechanic. Um, we shot at uh, like my house for part of it. Uh, the gas station that you see, uh, my friend Matt owns down in, uh, yeah, yeah, there he is, uh, down in Buellton. Um, this was, a, there was a lot of like, who do I know? What can I do? Um, all the, like 90% of the music that you see are either friends uh, who have bands locally, or I would shoot photos for a band that um, came through and they would let me use their music in exchange. Like, I just kind of worked out deals like that. Uh, yeah? What was the last scene? Where we actually, yeah, I was just outside of town, and I can say no more. I mean, we did it's a purpose. The airport. Did a purpose, but yeah, just on, on his behalf. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, like, um, it def I, I feel it definitely kind of sets itself apart a little bit, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of slash crime, but, com like, dark comedy, um, I, I'm a big fan of, like, 
Tarantino or like anybody who like writes heavy dialogue, uh, but like with that kind of funny, like they, they're thieves, you know, like, you know, they should be role models, but at the same time, they, they are a little bit of role models. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's I, I like to blend genres, so I, I feel like I, I hit a few. Uh, and then, I mean, even it's got like some really kind of solo moments when when Noelle is um, on the side of the road and she's like, I don't want to do this. Like, that was a really, I thought that was a really good moment for me to laugh. Uh, Blanche, yeah. Um, what was the, uh, in the experience from conceptualizing the film to now, what was the most challenging experience for you to have to go through? Uh, well, filming it, uh, we had a, we had a night where uh, we we ran into a few problems, but I I won't go into that. I'm I'm, I'm not here to burn bridges or anything. Uh, <laughs> but um, I mean, I in hindsight, like hindsight's a lot of it. I you know I'm always like really criticizing uh, what I've done. So yeah, like there are things that I think I would have done uh, looking back on it now. Like I think I would have made um, the robbery at the coffee shop like this bigger thing, you know, and like then cut it by like ten minutes. You know, there's there's all this like. Uh, we're like, oh, it jumps from here. You know, you, you just constantly boggle your mind, like, going, oh, why didn't I? Why didn't I just write this one line and this would kind of? There's a, I feel, and maybe I'm, I'm challenging myself quite a bit, but I feel like uh, there's a lot of that where it's like, oh, you know, it's, it's constantly worrying on my part. But I, I, I think it came out pretty good. This is the first time I've seen it on a big screen. Uh, there are weird technical things, like obviously it stops in moments, I didn't know that. Uh, and there was a tiny little buzz, I, I had never heard that before. But that all aside. Oh, one more question, anybody?